What's up everybody? Very, very happy to be back today. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Guys, I'm out getting some steps. As you know, I love getting my steps in. Losing weight, uh, as far as losing weight goes, all I've really done as far as cardio, intentional cardio, is just go on walks. And really, I can't even call that intentional because at the end of the day, I'm usually going somewhere anyway, so you might as well walk, right? You guys know uh, I went from 210 pounds now down to about 150 pounds. I'm fluctuating now between 145 and 150 pounds. And I've done that in a very short amount of time. Um, so about seven months. Now, I just wanted to talk to you guys. This is a very specific and different kind of video. But I wanted to talk to you guys about, not about weight loss today. I want to talk to you about something that has affected me on a personal level uh, <laughs> and a physical level and it might be something that you guys are dealing with too so let's get into it so as you guys know I've recently come back from Cabo right me and my wife went to Cabo and uh, a lot of the time when you hear people talk about Mexico they say you might get sick when you go so you know you kind of expect that maybe you'll get some stomach upset or something like that and uh, when I went, I did get a little bit of stomach upset. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all, but I did. I got a little stomach upset, you know, uh, not feeling good for a couple of days. And so I just chalked it up to Mexico, right? No. I actually just found out, even though I came back from Mexico, maybe about, um, I don't know, a few weeks back, I just found out what was causing those problems. And ever since I came back, I was actually dealing with some stomach upset and I, re I remember even telling my partner at work, I was like, I don't understand what's going on with me. I don't feel too good, but sometimes I feel fine. It just comes about where I just feel sick. Ugh. Guys, guys, I have the answer. Very strange, again, very strange video to do, but you guys know that I share everything that I find value in with you guys and I found value in finding out what was causing me to get sick. And I figured if you guys are on, because plenty of you guys are, are on weight loss journeys like mine, you guys are gonna see, you guys are gonna see something like this maybe creep up in your life. So what was making Joe sick all that time? Can you believe it? Icebreakers, icebreakers were making me sick. Who would have known that a candy like this, right? Well, maybe you guys know, but I'm just, throwing this out there in case you guys don't know. Who would have known that a candy like that can get you sick? Gotta love New York. Gotta love New York. Who would have known that something like icebreakers would get you sick? I actually never really ate icebreakers, you know, throughout my life, but I picked them up on um, the last couple of trips that I went on with my wife, and I was like, wow, these things are amazing. And I really started, you know, enjoying them when I was in Mexico. So, um, what about that is going to cause you to get sick? There are sugar alcohols in it, okay? So as you guys are probably aware, or maybe not, and you know, hopefully this video will help you, sugar alcohol such, such as like Exitol or Malitol, I think it's called, you know, there's various types of sugar alcohols. They're basically a carbohydrate um, and they don't get broken down by your body like sugar does, okay? They have less calories than sugar, so that's why mints and gums, a lot of the time, they'll use sugar alcohols in their stuff in order to cause their stuff to taste super sweet, and super delicious, and super addicting, like the icebreakers, <laughs> um, and at the same time, have almost like no calories. So that was what was causing me to get sick. Now, I wasn't eating a whole, but I mean, listen, I indulged, <laughs> I indulged with the mints, okay? Now, I, and I was aware that sugar alcohols will get you sick. And that's why when I actually started dissecting my diet and dissecting my life and being in tune with myself, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's the mints. Let me take a look at that ingredient list. So I take a look at the ingredient list and sure enough, malitol, malitol. Ugh. I'm getting sick because I'm enjoying my low calorie mints. Does that mean you're gonna get sick if you eat sugar alcohols? No. Guys, I used to eat sugar alcohols all the time. Sweet teas and gums and candies. Many companies use sugar alcohols. And if you go do a quick Google search, you'll find what a safe level of sugar alcohol consumption a day is. You know, what, 
what I guess the um, the FDA says, you know, is a safe amount. Won't take much to Google it, but guys, keep in mind, I've never had a problem with sugar alcohol. I used to eat sugar alcohols all the time in the foods that I used to have, but it never affected me. Why? I was much heavier. <laughs> I was much heavier when I was eating them. So I'm assuming, okay, you know, I didn't do any scientific research to figure this out, but I'm assuming that the fact that I've lost so much weight, it's causing me to now be a lightweight when it comes to sugar alcohol. Because I used to eat this stuff all the time, never affected me. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm speculating and maybe, you know, malitol just doesn't agree with me as you know, other sugar alcohols might, but I, I really think that because of my body changing as far as weight goes, this is probably something that is causing me to not be able to agree with this stuff anymore. So I wanted to throw this out there for you guys because this might be something that you would benefit from, okay? If you guys are on a weight loss journey, you're, you're gonna be eating sugar alcohol at some point in time. Maybe it agrees with you now, maybe it doesn't. Whew, out of breath. But at the end of the day, keep in mind, it might end up making you feel sick. So it's important that you watch the changes in your body, dissect your diet, be in tune with your body. Like I mentioned to you guys a million times, it's just super important. So I wanted to keep you guys in the loop. As far as that goes, I'm not going to be eating them anymore. My stomach should go back, you know, completely, you know, to normal at some point soon. <laughs> I'm over here telling the entire neighborhood about my stomach problems. Well, technically, I'm telling the entire world because I'm putting it on YouTube. I, I guess I really just don't care. Hope this helps you guys. Really hope it helps you guys. Nice short video, excuse me. Nice short video for you, and I really, I really truly hope it helps, guys. You know, you guys know this is a workout channel, it's a tonal, tonal channel, it's a diet channel, it's an everything channel, guys. Talk about socks on this channel, talk about my hats. Well, I'm talking about how I have been sick and I'm talking about how I have gotten better. Because ever since I stopped eating those, my stomach has seemed to level off just fine. And uh, if anything changes, I will let you guys know. But watch out for that sugar, <laughs> watch out for that sugar alcohol, especially if you're losing weight, because your body changes completely when you lose all that weight, and it could end up maybe affecting you. All right, guys? So anyway, I hope this helped. I look forward to getting out some great content for you guys soon. I have a whole bunch of videos that I look forward to getting out regarding tonal, regarding the handy gym, regarding a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, you know what's crazy? Whenever I walk around with this, <laughs> whenever I walk around doing videos, you guys will see, if I, if I like do videos and I'm like walking around, people stop and they look at me and I wonder, do they know me? <laughs> it's really funny. I remember I was on a plane once, I was on a trip and somebody on the plane actually knew who I was. And they're like, you're Joey B. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, how'd you know that? I had a mask on. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope all is well with you guys. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon.